Assalamu salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's good to be here again in Norway today. Um, the brothers today, they said, when you do your poetry today, do it for the Muslims. You know, how could Muslims be good Muslims? And as Muslims, we know the purpose of our life is what? To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that doesn't necessarily mean 24 seven, put your head on the ground, praying to Allah. Rather, we have many different obligations that by doing so, we can attain the pleasure of Allah. And most importantly is one which Imam Ahmad rahimahullah, actually said, I don't know any deed which can attain the pleasure of Allah more than attaining the pleasure of one's mother. So inshallah, this is a new poem. Inshallah, you guys enjoy it. I call this Dimam. To the woman that loved me before I was born. To the woman that held my heart long before it had formed. To the woman who's left sleepless from dusk until dawn with weakness upon weakness for nine months long. Telling herself it would all be worth it soon as she rest assured for when she finally made it through to that hospital ward it was love at first sight the second she saw me. I mean, she's the type that would give up her only slippers just to make sure that my toes were warm. She would always favour me despite the fact she always needed it more. She would wake up early every single morn to stand freezing in the cold, hanging up the clothes we had worn. Stand at the stove for hours, cooking bowls of food we would swarm. And whenever we weren't home, her heart would be torn. I mean, she could never ever sleep whenever we were gone. She would stay up all night next to the phone, although I would never call. So she sends me text messages, please just let me know that you're safe and secure. And whenever I was sick, she would always know what was the cure. I mean, the love she gave to me was the best medicine that was pure. A prescription of tea, honey, handmade, lemonade, what more could I ask for? Alhamdulillah, all praise due to the Lord. You did it all for me and I've not ever once asked for a reward. I mean, I still remember the nights when I was small. I could never go to sleep until I would call to you from outside of the bedroom door. Ghattini or Bosini, tuck me in and kiss me, please, and you would always be there for sure. See, the love you gave to me for all these years, it's impossible to ignore. I love you, Ya Ummah, and I'm sorry I never told you all this before. I'm sorry for everything, Mum, I'm sorry for it all. I'm sorry for leaving you as soon as you taught me how to crawl. I'm sorry for saying oof every time you would ask me to complete a simple chore. It doesn't make me less of a man to give you a hand whenever your arms get sore. I'm sorry again and again for all the promises I fell short. And I'm sorry I can't give you the life you wished for. The car you dreamt of and all the countries you wished to explore. And but most of all, I'm sorry for all the pain that I caused. For the nights you didn't sleep and for all the missed calls. For all the fights that we had and for all the broken walls. The dirty room with the messy floors and for the clothes that weren't packed back into their drawers. And for all the sacrifices you made that I never once ever recalled. Like when you became my mother, it meant that you had to move away from yours. I know how much you love her and miss her. And I know it cuts you deep like a sword But if it was up to me, I'd let you see as much as I can afford So I promise to make it up to you and become the son that you've once adored From now on So forgive me, forgive me for it all For everything I've ever done, ever since I was young, stupid and dumb Just looking to have fun, dear mum I love you I promise to never put anybody else above you and never let anybody come in between. And even if I get married, I promise you will always be my queen because there's no words in this world that can let you know how much you really mean to me. Nor is there any way in this world that I could ever repay you. So instead I pray every day for you that Allah shows mercy on you the same way you had mercy on me. And I have one last request for you before you leave, please. Since Allah put paradise beneath your feet, please ask Allah to let paradise be the place where we finally meet. Amen. Jazakallah khair.